Hi, I'm Sloan from SloanBella.com and I'm back with another video on astrology. This one is about Leo, the second fire sign and the fifth sign of the natural wheel of the zodiac, occupying the fifth house. So let's talk a little bit about Leo. Leo is a masculine fixed fire sign, okay? Fixed means stubborn, so it is basically a stubborn fire sign. Its ruling mascot is the jungle lion and its ruling planet is the sun. So let's talk about why a Leo person is the way that they are. Yes, I'm a Leo person and I like to think of us as rather shiny. Other people say we have a really strong ego. We're known as the egotistical sign or the show off sign. Hello, yeah, we might be, but that's because our ruling planet is a sun. Let's take a look at the sun. The sun is the giver of life for everything around it because without the sun, nothing grows. So Leo, being the fifth sign of the zodiac, comes in in this incarnation to take what the first five signs or four signs, them being the fifth, the four signs preceding them have put into action and motion because when you're reading an astrology chart, you want to go from the first house to the second house to the third house, fourth, and then we hit Leo. Leo is coming from Cancer. Cancer has been a nester and internal. The Leo energy is external and it steps out with the creative force. So Leo is the beginning of the creative part of the ego. So what the ego can envision and what the ego can create. It isn't necessarily egotistical. And let me go into the soul background on a karmic level with a Leo. As I've said, with all the fire signs, they are masculine. So the issues are with the father, the daddy issues. All of the fire signs have them. Leo is coming from a home where there's been a loss of father. The emotional energy, the physical energy, or just the energy of the father was not present when the Leo child was growing up in a way that the Leo child could harness it. So this could mean quite by nobody's fault that the father worked, let's say, on an oil rig in a field way out wherever and was gone for many months at a time. And so the child, the Leo child, did not have that dynamic interaction between child and father. And this goes for whether you're a male or a female Leo. So the Leo child is missing that energy. And so they're looking for daddy's approval and attention. And it's very difficult for them. The dad could have been an alcoholic, a drug addict, not able to see, could have been a workaholic or could have just been ill or actually the parents could have been divorced. So the child who was born under the sun sign of Leo takes that to heart. They can't understand why they didn't have the interaction with the father. So they, they feel as though they need to perform and get that attention. They are constantly looking for approval and attention, but it's from their father. They don't necessarily want your attention or my attention or their attention. They want the interaction and the bond with the father figure. So the paternal authority within the house growing up and they're not usually able to get it. Later on in life, they may understand the reasons for that. When we're little kids and we're in the developing ego state, which is what the Leo is, the children that we have in our lives are all in the Leo state, uh, the beginning states of ego where the child's like, my life is about me. My parents like me. I go to school and I eat ice cream and I do my homework and then I do this and my parents take me to Disneyland. <laughs> Kind of like childhood, kids think everything is about them. And truthfully, it is about them because when you're raising a child, that's what it's about. It's about raising that child. So the Leo has the child energy. Being the ruler of the fifth house in the natural wheel, ruling children, Leo has that kind of playful fun side to them. Not everybody finds it fun. I do, I think I'm fun, but some people don't think they're so fun. <laughs> they get rather annoyed by the Leo fun because they can be quite childish at certain times. Another little trick about Leo is that as they develop and mature, they can become great humanitarians because keep in mind, Leo is the fifth house. It's opposition six months around the map. Okay. So around the wheel is Aquarius. Aquarius is humanitarian. So Aquarius takes the ego extension and takes it outward, whereas Leo takes it inward. So that energy starts going back and forth. And Aquarius is a very humanistic thinking 
sign. So Leo has that opposition working with it. And you can find some Aquariuses with an ego and you can find some Leos that are humanitarians because we all bounce back and forth off our opposition. But Leo is looking to explore the childlike state that they didn't get to actually explore as a child because that was absent to them. So that is the reason when you see a group of 10 children in a swimming pool and there's one there going, did I dive well? Did I do it good? Am I cute? Does my bathing suit look right? Did I swim all the way across the pool? I beat those kids. That is probably the Leo child saying that because they're looking for you to step up and take the place that the father figure couldn't. So when you understand that Leo is acting out of a place of loss of father, so the more Leo you have in your chart, Leo sun, Leo moon, Leo rising, Leo planets, Venus, Mars, Mercury, whatever it is, the less interaction you had with the father. Now Leos will idealize the father because that's what they need. Um, a perfect example of this was our former President Obama, who was not raised with his father, but really identified with his father, and he is a Leo. So it's kind of interesting with that. It's not that the fathers mean to be absent, it's that the fathers are unable at the time of the child's birth to give the child what the child needs on an attention and emotional level. So the child is left trying to get that attention and emotion from other people, which gives them the reputation of having a big ego. But hopefully that's explained it on a soul level. Now let's get back to the incarnation of why a soul would choose to be a Leo. Well, to me it's obvious because we shiny and pretty. Okay, but seriously, it's because they are wanting to express the creative urge inside of a person. So primarily they come in to learn how to take those thoughts and put them into creative action. So it is the beginning of that. It is the beginning of saying, wow, I think I can be a sculptor and I want to sculpt this. So let me try. Let me see if I can take this artistry and do this with it. So a lot of entertainers have Leo. It is especially prevalent with comedians. And here's an interesting little fact about Leos. Leos, okay, <laughs> they are great comedians because they can be so depressed because they didn't get the nurturing that they needed growing up. So you will find a lot of comedians that are actually Leos. Now, if a Leo loses hope, that's when you're gonna get a depressed Leo. They love the sun, they love to wander around, and they are the one who everybody focuses on their hair. So whether you have hair that looks like a mop, you are a shaved head, you have long hair like a Greek god, you probably have something in Leo in your chart. So that's the ruling crown of the lion is the mane, and that's the hair, whether we have hair or don't have hair. The other thing with Leo that you wanna keep in mind, ruling parts of the body are the heart and the lower back, and so a Leo is always looking to be able to find and express love. If they are in an environment that does not do that, it will make them very sad. They rule all things children, so they have a special affinity for children, and you will find a lot of Leos stepping up for children's causes, mentoring children, and being around children because they are connected to them. It's the ruling house of children, the fifth house, the natural wheel of the zodiac. Now, for you guys, I want you to look in your charts and I want you to see where your Leo's placed. What sign is on your fifth house cusp because underneath that is the Leo energy. What planets are in your fifth house and where are your Leo planets placed in your chart? This will tell you where you need that extra attention and loving care so that you can move forward. And that's the whole expression of Leo. There are some quirky habits with Leo that are really kind of funny. They are generous to a fault. So if you need something, ask a Leo. Like if you need a car, go up to a Leo and go, you know, I need a car, I need some help. And they will usually say, here, here's the keys to my car, take it. Uh, they love to be of help and of service but they like to do it in very grand style. So even if your Leo person doesn't have a lot of money or doesn't have what other people have, they will give everything of what they do have. It's, it is a heart opening sign. So it rules the heart area, but keep in mind, they are freaking stubborn. Like you cannot budge a Leo to save your life. Just think of a lion in the jungle. And I want you to think of this because I love to say this. Okay, so there's female lions and there's male lions. Leos. So let's look at their jungle animal. 
In the jungle, the Leo women are the ones that take care of everything. You look at the pride and it's all girls. It's a girl posse. They're killing, they're doing, they're paying the bills. They're bringing the food to the Leo man that sits at home waiting, licking his paws, looking at which one he's going to have sex with or procreate with and who's bringing his dinner. That pretty much describes Leo men and Leo women. So in each sign, there is a difference between the male and female of the sign, even though we are talking about a masculine fire sign. So both of them are stubborn and both of them are fiery, hot temper, but it is the Leo women that usually end up taking the role of dominance within the household. And that is because they are following in suit with their mascot, which is a jungle cat. And the jungle cat women are always taking care of everything in the jungle. They are the ones. The men stake out the territory, mark their women, and then make their women go out. It kind of sounds like a pimp, right? Make their women go out and perform. <laughs> I know, I know. Don't send me hate mail over that. I think it's kind of funny. But anyway, it is masculine. So each sign, there is a difference in how the male and females respond. The Leo energy is very dynamic. And if you're wanting to present yourself in the most flattering way, find a Leo, ask them how to do it, and they will help shape your presentation. They're usually very well put together, even when they're not put together. And they have this urge to create something. So let's say a Leo person is working with hospice care and they are wanting to help their clients who are getting ready to transition they will create something or create an environment that's entirely different from anybody else's because they have that creative undertone to them. So even in jobs that we don't take as creative or think as creative, the Leo energy will bring it into a creative formula to be expressed that way. They just have a knack for doing it. It's part of the way that they operate on the planet. But do keep in mind that they can run into trouble in relationships because they are looking for daddy to fix them. All Leos want to cuddle up next to daddy. And if you're looking for that in a relationship, male or female, you may find you run into some trouble. So Leos have to get very clear with themselves that they weren't neglected or emotionally unattended to or not given the attention because it had anything to do with them. It was the circumstances of the father figure in the childhood home, which has nothing to do with the child. It has to do with the grown up. The grown up's problems are not the child's problems. So that very briefly is the beginning intro to Leo, the masculine fixed fire sign. Ah, I hope you've enjoyed that. And once again, once again, I'm Sloan from SloanBella.com.